this video, we're talking about division of sign numbers, and this is going to be really, really similar to multiplication of signed numbers. We have the same chart here that we had in our multiplication of signed numbers video, except that instead of multiplication, we have division here. And what this tells us is that if we divide a positive number by a positive number, we're going to get a positive answer. If we divide a negative number by a negative number, we're going to get a positive answer. If, on the other hand, we divide a negative number by a positive number, or a positive number by a negative number, we're going to get a negative answer. In other words, if our signs are the same, we're going to get a positive answer. If our signs are different, we're going to get a negative answer. But keep in mind that this logic only works when we have just two numbers involved. So we'll talk about more than two numbers in a second, but let's go ahead and apply this to some of the examples we have here. So we have six divided by three. This is a positive six and a positive three. Both of our numbers are positive. If we look at our chart here, we have a positive and a positive, which is going to give us a positive result and that should make sense because the signs are the same. They're both positive and we know from looking at this that if the signs are the same we'll get a positive result. So positive 6 divided by positive 3 is going to be a positive 2. If we go down to our last example and we take a negative 6 divided by a negative 3, we have a negative by a negative that's going to give us a positive. That should make sense because our signs are the same so we know our result is positive. So again we're going to get a positive 2. If on the other hand our signs are different we have have a negative 6 and a positive 3. Negative 6 divided by a positive 3 is going to give us a negative result because we have a negative divided by a positive. Those are different signs. The result's going to be negative. Here we have a positive 6 and a negative 3 different signs, one positive, one negative. So positive six divided by negative three is also going to give us negative two because the signs are different. We're going to get a negative answer. You can also think about these instead of using this division sign as fractions. So we know that six divided by three is the same as six over three. We know that negative six divided by three is the same as negative six divided by three. That six divided by negative three is the same as six over negative three. And that negative six divided by negative three is negative six over negative three. We can see here we have two positives, six over three. We know that that's going to be equal to two. In this case, we have negative six over positive three. We have this single negative sign here. We can factor that negative sign out in front of the fraction and get negative six over three. And now this six over three looks just like this did here. We know this is going to be two, but we have to apply our negative sign here. So this is going to be negative two. We can do the same thing here. We can factor out the negative sign from the denominator and get negative six over three when we pull that negative sign out in front. Six over three is two and applying the negative sign, we get negative two. Or in this case, pulling both negative signs out in front, what we end up with is negative one over negative one times six over three. So pulling both negatives out in front, we have this other fraction. Negative one divided by negative one is going to be a positive one because we have two negative signs. They'll cancel with each other to become a positive. And so we have one times six thirds or just six thirds, which we know is two. So this same and different sign system works great if we have just two numbers involved. We're dividing one number by another number. But what if we have more than two numbers involved? What if we have, for example, negative two times a negative three divided by a positive six. Here we have three numbers involved, negative two, negative three, and a positive six. In this case, we have different signs involved. We have a negative, a negative, and a positive. So those are different signs. And so maybe we would look at this and say, oh, they're different signs, so the result's gonna be negative. But in fact, that's not true. This same and different sign logic doesn't apply when we have more than two numbers involved. When we have more than two numbers involved, we have to sort of upgrade our understanding and say instead that an even number of negative signs will always give us a positive result and an odd number of negative signs will always give us a negative result. And this even odd logic works for division of just two numbers as well. For example, you can see here we had positive six divided by a positive three. We have zero negative signs. That's an even number of negative signs. So we have an even number of negative signs. We know our result is gonna be positive. And in fact, it was positive. It was positive two. Here we have one negative sign. We have the negative six and a positive three. One negative sign is an odd number of negative signs. So if we look down here, an odd number of negative signs, we should get a negative result. And in fact, we did, we got a negative two. So this even and odd number of negative signs logic always works regardless of the number of values that you have involved. So we can apply that here to our three value division problem. When we take negative two times a negative three, we know from multiplication of signed numbers that we're going to get a positive six. 
We have 6 in our denominator, and we know that 6 divided by 6 is 1. We get a positive result, and that should make sense because if we count the number of negative signs we have, we have one negative sign, two negative signs. That's an even number of negative signs, and if we look down here, we see that an even number of negative signs should give us a positive result. What if we have a different example down here? What if we have negative 7 times a positive 1 divided by a positive 7? In this case, we have one negative sign, just the negative 7 there. That's an odd number of negative signs, so our result should be negative. And if we do the arithmetic here, we see we get negative 7 times 1 is going to be negative 7 in our numerator. We have 7 in our denominator. Negative 7 divided by 7 we know is a negative 1, and we get a negative result because we had an odd number of negative signs. So when it comes to dealing with division of signed numbers, just remember, an even number of negative signs will give you a positive result. An odd number of negative signs will give you a negative result.